Easy liked fresh cooked spam <laughs> on a Saturday morning. Soft Rock 95.3 News Radio 850. I'm Oscar Osbo with Deborah Casamata. And, Hola. Uh, <laughs> listen <laughs> to that. What do they spam say in Hawaii? Pie. They say aloha. Uh, yeah, but that's. Well, because it's. I think we're going to have to talk about it. Yeah. Isn't it their favorite in, in Hawaii? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, Hawaii, yeah. yeah we we'd already asked him, I think. Yeah, okay. Um. Too it's much. Now, the, the one thing you noticed about the spam <laughs> yeah. is, is that it, it it gets very little grease. Because yeah, I've got I'm butter really here if you want to oh, put a little butter in the where, bottom oh, of the pan. Oh, I should have done it. You know, I didn't even think of... Yeah, I, I just assumed it would be really fatty, and it's yeah. sticking to the pan. It's not yeah. really as fat as you as I expected it. Okay, we got we got tomatoes for it, cheese, two kinds of cheese, some onions. We should really... like. I, I probably should cut those onions up those, and we'll, during the news, <laughs> and uh, we'll fry those onions in there to yeah. give that, that spammy yeah, taste. But but um, we're talking with uh, Hilly here. Okay, Hilly, you say you have your favorite Spam recipe? Yeah, there's two of them. I like a fried and brown sugar. Oh, that's a great a idea. Uh -huh. And another way I like to fix it is cube it with cheese. You grill up the spam and the cheese and put it on a hamburger bun and put it under the broiler. And when the cheese melts, it's really good. It is. Mm -hmm. So the cheese is what really gives it that bonus flavor. Oh, no, right? well, yeah. But the <laughs> spam is good, just spam. Okay. And spam, spam. You, got, you probably got the spam song at home, don't you? Spam, 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 no, I don't. Spam, 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 well, well, this is for you, Hilly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> did, you, did you ever hear this? That's a spam song with no, Monty Python? No. no. I think yeah. you were playing it earlier, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, I heard we just, that. Well, I had never heard it either. <laughs> okay. So now, we, now we have it the butter in there. It was a learning experience. Well, that spam is just cooking up nice yeah, now. Yummy. Oh. Okay, we got Actually, more. Yeah, it's kind of brownie. We, we'll get, we gave you a cookbook and, and a magnet. We'll also give you a can of spam too, okay? Because oh, you, great. you told us your favorite recipe. Now, have you sent in to uh, to, to give your fa your favorite recipe to this recipe place? No. Okay, because you know they got on the on the bottom of the uh, uh, recipe, it tells um, not only you know what's what's involved in it, but it also tells um, who who, who oh, developed okay. these recipes. And we're trying to locate. There's someone here from Michigan in Ann Arbor, I believe, that sent right. in a real good spam recipe that they have in there. Okay, oh. so we'll give you the uh, the. Uh, well, you can call one one eight hundred Love Spam. Oh, okay. L U V. L U V S P A N. Yeah, brother. And uh, tell them that you have a, a recipe for spam and see if they have it yet. Uh huh. And then maybe you know you can win some fantastic prizes from spam well, for giving the recipe. <laughs> They'll put it in the, the book. Can would be nice. And then it, then it will be yeah. in the book. Yeah. <laughs> it will be in, it will be in the book and we'll and talk, we'll talk about it. And you can get to the spam okay. hall of fame. There you go. They have all the recipes <laughs> in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, in Grand Rapids, they're going to have a. the limit, huh? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, yeah. they'll, they'll put you up at the, the uh, Spamway Grand Hotel, and, <laughs> I mean, you know, know. <laughs> the sky is the limit. So, <clears throat> Spam, it's the thing of the future, and even though it's and, the, and thing, the, of the thing of the past. And the thing of the past. It'll last till the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thanks for talking with us. Okay. Okay. Bye Hold, now. Bye. Bye. Okay, we got we to gotta put it down here on her list, uh, also a, a can of Spam. Okay. But we've got uh, some more spam cookbooks to give away. I think we should give away some more spam cookbooks. I think so. You think people are, are dripping from ah. their mouth with spam? Just I know I'm spam? dripping just with <laughs> spam in itself. <laughs> okay, so right now we'll take the uh, well, the first caller. Calls right now at 798-2222. You're being and so nice. I know. We'll give you a spam cookbook. Call now, 798-2222. And if and you have a recipe, we'd yeah. like to hear it. It's okay. just a fun recipe. We're gonna put you, okay, we're going to put you on the air, okay? Okay? We're going to put you on the air, all right? Okay. Okay, you want a spam cookbook? Yes. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Carlton Gustin. Okay, Carlton. Um, we'll give you a spam cookbook. You got a spam recipe? No, I don't. If I you, just love spam, though. You love spam? Right. <laughs> okay. Now, see, He's going to use our this recipe book to make spam. Oh, yeah. So, we got, you know, I never realized how many spam lovers there were out there, but uh, when we talked to the uh, uh, spam ambassador... They're, they they sell, sell tons and tons of spam. Hawaii is like the number one, but I think we're going to make Muskegon the number one. Yeah, number one spam, spam capital of the world. Today, probably. But so, yeah, yeah, the spam shelves yeah. will be empty. But see, uh, I, we got to find out where there's some spam light. Well, and we should do that. We'll call yeah. around to all the grocery stores <laughs> around town and light? find some spam light because uh. all we could find was a regular spam. And, and Deborah and I are trying to diet. You know, we're oh, trying to yeah, so we we're trying to lose a couple of pounds here. <laughs> 10,000 so. <laughs> pounds between the two of us. <laughs> well, we won't tell who's the, the biggest majority of the weight losing. What will we, Deb? No, we won't, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> anyway.
so okay so we, we'll, we'll give you that okay the free as we sit here eating it with butter <laughs> oh yeah see that's why we should have to spam spam we never cook spam no we, we had no idea hey this is fun though this thanks, was a new thanks for calling <laughs> okay well hold on a second i'll get your name and everything and uh we'll give you a free scamp spam cookbook okay this is news radio 850 wkbz muskegon and soft rock 95.3 <laughs> wkbz fm whitehall muskegon oh it's eight o'clock smell that spam Two and some sunshine. Soft Rock 95.3, News Radio 850. And, you know, <laughs> the spam is cooking. We're yeah. back with spam. Have you ever, just just out of curiosity, did you ever picture yourself when you went into news <laughs> seeing yourself with headphones cooking spam? Uh, n- no, not, no, not, not no. in my worst uh, uh, nightmares. Not nightmares. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. not, not at all. But this is fun. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I'd, be, cooking, I'd do it again. Cooking spam and headphones. It's, it's, a, it's a, new, <laughs> a new treat. <laughs> That's true. We're just missing our, our chef cap and apron. Yeah, that's what it is. You know what we've got to do? We've got to invite somebody to eat Spam with us here today. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll do that. We'll have to do that. Maybe we can Maybe we can invite Tom. Tom, are you there? We have Tom Harriman on the phone with um, the Frontal. Hi, Oscar. How are you doing? Hi, Tom. Hi, Deborah. Did you, did you, do you, you want to join us for Spam breakfast this morning? Uh, not if you're cooking it in the earphones. <laughs> no, not, oh, not in the in earphones. earphones. It might, it might no. make it a little extra greasy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm a, a surprised it's not as greasy as you would think. It just doesn't have I had a, to add butter. I'm still waiting for a good smell to come, though. All right. <laughs> Butter and spam, that's good for your arteries. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we tried to get the light spam. We found, I guess a couple people called us. They said they yeah. have some at the North Muskegon Meyer and one at the D&W. And D&W. Yeah. So right. we, we were misinformed, but we, we now have the right story. But we, we've got some really uh, a spam grilled cheese hero we're going to be making out of this stuff. <laughs> Sound good? <laughs> that sounded so appeasing. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, that ooh is very committal. Sure. <laughs> <I noticed. laughs> okay. you, you'll be here while we taste our first slice of spam. Here oh, we got, we got to try some? Mm-hmm. This oh, one's no. done. Just just by itself, and then we'll add it on a piece of okay. bread. Oh, I, get the whole, I gave him an the actual whole, fork. The whole thing. I can smell what it. What are you going to use? <laughs> the knife. Well, the knife. I just don't I'm going to do it caveman style. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Uh, okay. Ooh. It's hot. Very, very hot. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Did you ever think you'd be on, on the air with us talking full. about spam? Well, no, I, I, uh, I didn't have any idea, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but, but now I know. <laughs> and I could tell you. You're really pleased. You'll be telling your, you'll be telling your grandkids about this. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. You know, I've been a spam I'm, fan. I'm for still a long waiting time. for a taste to come. You know, it doesn't taste so bad. No. I talked to my dad yesterday and told him what we're doing, and he goes, "You know, you're probably gonna like it." Well, I, I can see with some Swiss cheese in that it's going to mm-hmm. taste pretty decent. Well, we had to try it by itself just to get a real honest flavor. Okay, Tom, I guess I guess you know we could talk to you about we what's going on at the front, though. But we just want to share the Spam experience with you. Yeah, well, I was just enjoying the Spam, you know. <laughs> 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 oh, we got a busy week. Oh, excuse me. Uh, nicely, nicely. Okay. Yeah, oh, there's I, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, well thanks for talking with us. And hey. We'll, we'll talk with you again next next uh, Saturday. Good, save me one of those sandwiches. Oh, okay. we've got one yeah. with your name on it. Really? I bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Tom. See you guys. See okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, talking to Tom Harriman from the front, though. We're going to talk more about uh, some spam. We'll talk more to, to, to uh, Alan, too, the, uh, the spam, spam ambassador. ambassador. Thank you. <laughs> That's coming up. Keep it here. News Radio 850, Soft Rock 95.3, 42 degrees, 816. Boy, did I almost lose a bundle. Why? Okay, we got... Okay, we, you, you said there's another place that uh, carries Spam and Spam Light. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Who are we talking to? Geneva Leonard. Hi, Geneva. Hi. You were telling us there's another place that carries Spam and Spam well, Light? I called and said it was B&W. Oh, okay. Um, and by the way... Mike's name is Hooker, H-O-E-K-E-R, and he's one of the legal ones, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. That one over your head. I did, I, oh, I, oh, one of the legal ones. Oh, you're right, it did, but we caught it. <laughs> and we brought it back. Yeah. And we'll put it away for another time. <laughs> We're trying to be nice. <laughs> okay, G- okay, Geneva Leonard is your name, right? Right. I, t- I tell you what, we're going to give you a spam cookbook if you want it. Oh, I love it. Okay. Oh, it, wait, you're going to tell us, what did you do with your spam light? Uh, I didn't buy it. I saw it, and oh. I was kind of looking around. But I, years ago, when I first got married in the 50s, uh-huh. I thought I was making a beautiful, beautiful treat for my husband uh-huh. because I breaded it. Oh. Okay? Uh-huh. Okay. 
I went to serve it, I almost got a divorce because he was in the military and that's what he had for almost four years. Okay. Oh, so it saved your marriage by not making too much spam. <laughs> by not making marriage it. wrecked by spam. That's the last time I served it that, in that form. Oh, that's uh, funny. Well, I, I love what, what, it with a cheese cut up soda. Okay. And you could put a little onion or mayo. Okay. And maybe even grab oh, didn't bring any, I didn't bring if any. you wanted to for a chopped egg. Oh, chopped yeah. egg? Yeah, that's, there's, oh, another, there's another recipe in here called uh, you, uh, Dip Spam Swiss Sandwich. Worcestershire? Worcestershire? Up and, I never thought about it's, that. It's a delicious sandwich for evening. Yeah, you know, it's also could... good on rusk. On what? Uh, what? On what? On rusk. What's that? It's like a dry toast, and it's um, in a round package. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like a cracker toast. Okay. Like right. a bread toast. Melba. Yeah. Kind of. That's very good. And and your husband hasn't divorced you yet because of that, no, so. No, he died. Oh. oh. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> no, oh, that's, I'm, we're sorry about that's laughing. That's funny, but. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> the way you said it. The spam, I guess. Oh, it wasn't, it wasn't the spam, right? That's what I was going to ask. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I didn't okay. want to. Yeah, okay. All right, we won't, yeah. we won't, we won't yeah. put it on spam. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> thank you for calling. Oh, you're very and like I said, we got a spam recipe book down here for you. I mean, I know you know you got all the recipes. Do you want do you want a spam recipe book, or would you rather have a can of spam? Which one I'd would you like rather? The recipe book, please. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. We have a recipe book down here for you. Okay. Well, I'm glad we were able to bring some good memories back with you. Yeah. Okay. Thanks Thank for talking you. to us. Hold we're, on. We're putting the onions in the uh, <laughs> in the spam now. Yeah, because of you, we're putting the onions in. Yeah. Okay. It's starting to smell better. Mm. I wish I would have brought the. We should have. Hold on. Okay. Okay. We. we I should have brought the. I should have brought the garlic. No. And the Worcestershire sauce, though. Worcestershire, Worcestershire. I can't. Just what can we you say that? Smell Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Okay. Anyway. Worcestershire. All right. We should have brought that. Okay. Alan's how on do the. How you say that? Huh? Go on. I'm just trying to think of how you say it properly. I know Worcestershire. 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 Anyway, we got Alan back on the line from who Alan, of course, is, is the, the spam ambassador. Right. He had to make a phone call, so we uh, <laughs> put him on hold. He's back. But but um, I got to ask him. We got to ask him about this. There's a picture that we got here from Spam. Of um, Boris, Boris Yeltsin. Yeltsin, Boris Yeltsin, and he's receiving a uh, a can, can of spam. Of spam. <laughs> so we got we got to ask him. Soft Rock ninety five point three News Radio eight fifty, and we're back with the spam ambassador. What, what inspired you to give it to Boris, President Boris Yeltsin, Russian well, president? There's an interesting and a very unique story behind that. Uh, uh, Khrushchev, uh, Nikita Khrushchev, in his memoirs uh, entitled Khrushchev Remembers. I credit that Spam Lunch and Me with being a, a very strong element in, in uh, Russian, British, American troops winning the war in 1942-45. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, it's a very interesting reading. And, and so recognizing that history, uh, in 1991, uh, Mikhail Gorbachev was in the Twin Cities. And our chief executive officer, uh, Dick Knowlton, happened to be invited to a briefing. And uh, he attended that briefing with about 100 other CEOs and at that time used that as an opportunity to provide uh, Gorbachev with a can of Spam. <laughs> which got great press attention at the time. Right. And so one year later, as we all know, uh, he's out of office, and Boris Yeltsin is in, and Senator Bob Dole uh, asked about a tour of a typical meatpacking plant for, for Boris Yeltsin, and uh, he selects our plant in uh, Wichita, Kansas. And it was just fitting that we continue this tradition of presenting a can of Spam to the leader, uh, world leader from Russia. And so <laughs> Boris Yeltsin was the next one on the list. So that's what the Russians think of us. Spam and it'll be interesting leaders. if he's out of power, is everybody... Re- it assumes he's going to be here very shortly. Mm-hmm. Who the next person is, we'll have to find to present a can of spam. Now, maybe like shape the spam next time as some as like maybe Clinton, President Clinton, maybe a shape it and give him head. a spam, spam head. Yeah, a spam shape of Clinton. That'd be kind. Who needs clay? You've got because I heard I heard this supposed to be like. Do you do you guys perform those two? The the where you shape the spam at all? Or? Uh, we used to spam have spam sculptures. We used to have a spam carving contest, but uh, we've gotten out of that. We do have a. Uh, a an event every year called Spam Jam here in Austin that's uh, yeah. built around uh, Spam. But but our attitude is is that uh, Spam uh, sculpting contests really take away from the, the exact purpose of that product, which yeah. is to enjoy well, besides it, that, you got, food. Besides that, you got a Spam race car. I mean, why, why would you want to, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. You need right. to carve it when you've got a race car going. Oh, oh man. W- all the marketing things that you have, spam. My favorite are the spam boxer Box shorts. shorts. Those <laughs> crack me up. I think they're funny. Well, we do have a you know uh, for spam fans, we consider it to be a mail order dream come true. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if, and if you are a Bart Simpson fan, we do have those boxer, those spam boxer undies. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we we saw those in the catalog. Yeah, oh, so hilarious. if they want to get the catalog, Oscar, Oscar loves the cap. Yeah, Maybe that's funny for the him. The cap, the the spam jam t shirt, all that stuff. Earrings, is nice, nice earrings. Well, I'm not so into the earrings. Can you but confess anyway. what, what spam items do you own? What spam items do I own? Yeah. Well, I do have the boxers, and I do have a great uh, running jacket, them? the champion you running jacket. Uh, I, no, I'm not yeah. wearing it right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's a little more information. Well, you know, I just thought I would want to see it because you seem so comfortable, so I was just going to say, you know. <laughs> They're wearing the spam boxers. They must be comfortable. I do have the spam wristwatch on. I wouldn't be without that, of course. Oh, there you okay. go. Yeah. And it keeps perfect, uh, perfectly... Perfect time. Sp- yeah, okay. There's got to be a word work there. every time, anyway. There's Perfectly be a, spam time. Yeah, some kind of spam word there. It's spamtaneous. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know. Spam timely? I don't know. Anyway, sorry, you were saying. Spam timely. <laughs> uh, you asked for the number of the, to get a catalog. Yeah. It's 1-800-LOVE, L-U-V, spam. That's yeah. P-A-M. <laughs> <laughs> and and I you know spell that one. we 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 Deborah and I did something on spam. Uh, I don't know. It was a few weeks back. We were just talking about it and just looked through the catalog. Oh, it's funny. And I just decided we just decided to call that number. And it's I'm glad we did. It's just yeah. we couldn't believe well, it. Ever you're lucky. since then, he's you're been going off. Oh, spam it. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're lucky you got through. We had 2,200 calls on Monday. Yeah, ah, I, yeah, no I heard. Yeah, and 1,610 uh, yesterday and. The first two hours of work today, we had 362 from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. But so, the spam okay. lines are open now, right? I sure hope so. That's right. <laughs> so if they want to get that spam catalog or the spam products, they can call 1-800-LOVE-L-U-V-SPAM. Love spam. And if people from uh, Muskegon and other areas of Michigan uh, decide that they are ever going to come to uh, the world's largest mall, the Mall of America <laughs> yeah. in, in Bloomington, Minnesota, we're just <laughs> opening up on Monday right. our first ever retail store. It's called Spam Tastic oh, Gift. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> now, is, is, there, go. Is, there, is there more than just the catalog in there, though, or is it just the, the catalog stuff? Oh, it's, it's a large... store. They've... It's uh, basically the items from the catalog that we'll be starting with, uh, okay. a combination of those and the NASCAR uh, gift catalog that uh, we have just okay. now introduced. Are you going to com- come up with, like, little miniature um, Spam mobiles that they can, they can, you know, for the race car and we stuff? We do have too? collectible Spam cars, yes. Do you really? Oh, mm-hmm. oh wow. Okay. You know what? You know how they have... Michigan is known for their outlet malls around this part. Get to have a spam outlet mall? Yeah, yeah, right here in Muskegon. <laughs> That's what I wanted to ask you, too. I, now, I was thinking... Deborah, Deborah gave me this idea. Oh, no. Um, I was oh. thinking about it. If this radio thing doesn't work out, oh, no. I could always start a restaurant here in Muskegon and call it... Uh, um, the what was, you, what was the name you came up with? It was Oz... I don't know. Oh, wow, geez. Now I can't remember. Spam Rific sounds good. Oh, Spam Rific or yeah. Spam Tastic. Or, you know, but Oscar it was. Oscar Spam Tastic. I had something to do with the, with the Wizard of Spam. Oh, Wizard the, of Spam. The Wizard of Spam. Yeah, because so it's We call him Oscar. the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Oh, it's just what, what, the Wizard of Spam or, you know, have a Spam sandwiches, a Spam deli, you know, that kind of thing. Well, we're, that's our that's our next step, uh, obviously. Is well, then you, uh, you got, you know, we'll franchise out here. <laughs> yeah, He'll absolutely. be your Spam poster boy. <laughs> you provide the money, <laughs> we'll provide go. the product. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait a minute now. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it with our, our hefty paychecks. <laughs> <laughs> really? Can we, can we like, like, trade something in here to maybe get it or no? You, you can have his uh, glove. Uh, what, hair? What's left? No, I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> okay, but we can maybe we can work out some kind of a deal where I can have a Spam restaurant right here in front of KBZ. Wouldn't that be wonderful? I think so. And you can stand out front with a big can of Spam suit on, waving the... the I was going to say, we'll have to bring our Spam uh, man mascot. down there. <laughs> Do you have spam a mascot? Spam mascot? Yes, we have a, a what spam, is it? We have two Spam mascots. What is it? Uh, a Mr. and a Mrs., we think. <laughs> and uh, one is Spam Light, and one is the regular Spam, and we we'll utilize them at oh, a so number of like events. A, a big can they wear. That's correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's no animal or figure like no, that? No, it is not. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, there, was, there was another question I want to ask you, and I can't remember what it was now. But anyway, um, oh, I know what it was. Um, as far as um, your recipes and your recipe book, where do you come up with these recipes? Yeah, who, who are the chefs? We have uh, oh. the recipe book we have entitled The Great Taste of Spam mm-hmm. uh, is really a compilation of uh, recipes that uh, uh, homemakers uh, have uh, submitted at the county and state fair contest that we okay. sponsored nationally. Oh. And we have 56 contests at the largest county and state fairs. Uh, we've done this now for four years, and uh, the reception has been so outstanding that we just decided to take some of those award-winning recipes and come up with our own recipe book as a result of that. And I no. think if you look through it, if you got a copy there, they identify yeah, who the person is and, and the, where they're from. And I uh, didn't look for that though. I, I looked at the recipes, but I didn't look for the for the different. Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll have to check it out. Yeah. So. Okay. So so now, do they get any money for this though? Or here's the one from Linda Cole from Lennon, Michigan. I don't know if Lennon is nearby. Okay. Hmm. Um, John Lennon, Michigan. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. All right. <laughs> We do know we had a caller call in uh, last week. Oscar was giving away some spam cookbooks. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. She said she has every cookbook but the spam cookbook. So right. She, and she wanted, she wanted it. it for her mom because her mom just makes spam all the time. No, no, no. What it was is her mom had, had bought two cases of spam when they were on sale, and she didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. So the, we got her the cookbook now, and she can... Uh, spam away, I guess. Well, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, thanks for talking with us. It's my my pleasure. And uh, we're not the, you're not the king of spam, but you're the you're ambassador of the spam. Ambassador. Spam ambassador. But I hear you, ambassador. I hear you also have the queen of spam. We there, do have too. a queen of spam. Would you like to visit with her? Oh, oh sure. We would love to. Now, uh, but we'll do that uh, when we have a little bit more time. So we're going to take a little quick commercial break, and we'll be back with the queen of spam after this. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, couldn't help myself. <laughs> okay, we've got a couple. We got people have been calling like crazy about spam trivia that they had. Spam in the past. mania. Yeah, it's 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 a spammy thing. <laughs> spam it is fun a... though. <laughs> okay, we, uh, we're going to the first on the line now? first call here, and we'll talk to you. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Thank you for holding for uh, what an hour and a half. You've been holding now. <laughs> oh, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were telling us a little a quick story about uh, your husband. Oh yes, when he was a prisoner of war in Germany, dog yeah. luxury, he would get through the Red Cross a can of spam, and they'd spread strawberry jam over it and eat it like it would be ham on Easter. <laughs> Oh, oh. Does, that, does that sound like... You a, have to try it. Yeah. Really? Well, you know you have to have sweetness on your hand, like brown sugar yeah, coating. Yeah. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. That just doesn't sound too appetizing. You know? <laughs> when you're hungry, you'll eat it. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose when you're working. Does he eat it still, or does that... Oh, yes, we have it on the case. Oh, how neat. He still likes it. <laughs> really? Yeah. That says a lot for Spam, if he can still well, like you know, it being a prisoner of war. It was probably something he looked forward to, to compared right, to some of the other stuff they fed him. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I I said, what's your name? Margaret Bain. Okay, Margaret. The Queen of Spam. (laughs) Oh, you? No, I don't know. Another self-imposed Queen of Spam. We're going to be talking to her, by the way, later. Yeah. Another. um, Another one. (laughs) Yeah, another one. She's. She knows the history like the back of her hand. Well, she works for Hormone Foods, so she is. She's actually been crowned the Queen of Spam. Oh. Except I don't think she has a tiara. Yeah, yeah, I shouldn't have that yet. But she's working on that. I'm sure they'll have it soon. Right, right you know, she should probably be queened over at the uh, uh, when when the, hall of, the spam, the spam hall of fame when they, when they when they create a spam way in Grand Rapids, I think, or maybe right here in Muskegon. Oh, Muskega. I thought it would be your restaurant. Oh, <laughs> your opening of your new restaurant. Yeah, maybe maybe I can get the queen of spam down here for the for the opening of the new restaurant. That's possible. Right, spam we with could, the Oscar. We could, we could have a, a a running of all the queens. You know, see all different women that would come here and be be pronounced the queen of spam. Oh, I thought maybe you'd have to have a running contest like everybody used their spam <laughs> in a different way. Yeah. That would work. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> We'd get, you know, have a Miss Universe of, of spam. Okay, uh, Margaret, what what would you like? Would you like a can of spam or a spam cookbook? Oh, I'd like the cookbook, please. Okay, so we got you down for a cookbook, uh-huh. and we'll give you that, okay? All you need to do is come right down here, and we'll, p- we'll pick up your cookbook. Oh, at your station? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to you about that. Okay, fine. Hold, hold, well, on, hold on hold on the line, and uh, we got another caller, okay? Okay, fine. I, I know you've been holding for a long time, but just for a little little while longer, okay? <laughs> promise, <laughs> promise. Hold on. Okay, we've got another spam caller here. How you doing? Hey, pretty good. Now, we remember you from a uh, past show. What, how long was that? About a month ago? Two oh, months ago? Yeah, about a month ago or so, yeah. yeah. Well, this is Scott Rosema, and he does comic figures for comic books. He's a, a cartoonist. You did the X-Men thing? And you did X-Men. And you're going to eat our first Spam sandwich with us, huh? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm I'm not sure if uh, if that's conducive to great comic artwork, but I think it probably would would (laughs) occur. It may clog your fingers or something. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, I just had to join the festivities because... uh, uh, I'm quite sure that uh, when I was last on your show, uh, I didn't get a chance to partake these facts. And, uh, oh, I'm I'm positive of that one. <laughs> yeah, we didn't talk about spam. I remember that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, you might you, you may not realize it, but uh, within the uh, within the group X Men, of course, I know this after having drawn them at least. Yeah. Once, um, uh, Wolverine, I guess, is the official opener of all spam products. Oh, really? Because of his demanding <laughs> claws. You just slice right through the can. Oh, through the there can. You go. Yeah, you know, Deborah had a heck of a time getting that can open. Oh, I, that I, was I, funny. Oh, well, Wolverine pre- never need, needs to use those really those little keys that yeah. roll the top yeah. back. J- just, just in case anyone doesn't know, Wolverine is, is a, a figure that has big claws and a mane, right? Right. And I remember. Yeah, yeah and he just slices right through the can, and it's, it's, it's no problem for him. Of course, he, he opens the can and slices the meat at the same time. Well, that's true. Sandwich. He could like, slice it and dice it with his little claw hand. Yeah, yeah. there you go. And the other unknown fact is, uh, <laughs> I'm sure nobody knows this, 
is spam is officially the most popular sound effect for Captain America when he punches out villains. Oh, really? Yeah, the word spam, S P A M. Oh, spam. You know, I like just, this sound effect, though. Yeah, it, it's just this uh, little little thing that people didn't realize. They don't, say, they don't say bam or blam, yeah, they spam. say spam. Spam, right, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, when he hits something, it goes, or, sh- <laughs> no, or, sp- <laughs> right, well, well, when he's about to, you know, punch out a villain or something, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> he, just, he just says, uh, you're, you know, dastardly villain, have some spam, and he, you know, he, he hits him, so. You know, you're, you know you're what you dastardly do, villain, did you hear what he said? <laughs> I, t- I tell you what you do, Scott, you know, you know if you really, if you really want to, um, if you really want to make some money here, you, know, yeah. you should call the call the spam people one eight hundred love spam L U V spam, and uh, design some new mascots because their mascots are basically cans, cans of, of spam. spam. Oh, people spam, dressed with a can of a can spam, of spam on them. I mean, spam would be a spam great light. Halloween costume. Yeah, go go for designing a new a new spam look. I mean, I, you know, I think they could use probably a nice broad chested square jawed uh, figure for. A there moment. you go, a cartoon <laughs> spam guy. Not a bad a idea. Spam superhero. Oscar, you give me a new career. There you go. Oh, there you go. You talk to the guy. <laughs> Blame it on Oscar. <laughs> talk to Alan over there, the spam ambassador, and tell him what you got. Send him some pictures, and I bet you have a you have a new spam character comic book. They'll probably put it in their in their little catalog that they they send out with all the other stuff. A hey, spam how could cat- they not? Really? That's Why not? A spam heck? super superhero. <laughs> I, it could we could work out. That's right. You know, you never know. <laughs> well, I figured that was. <laughs> <laughs> and gee, Oscar, if I, if I wasn't so busy today, I think I just might do that. But I, I probably will anyway. What the heck? Okay. Well, you let us know what, what how it happens or what happens, and, and get back with us and see whether or not you know we have a spam superhero. Okay. From Muskegon, okay. <laughs> and in the meantime, we we'll have to sample these uh, spam burgers. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do a little commercial break, do a little sports, and uh, we'll be back with uh, the spam queen and eating spam burgers. So we got tons of stuff to do. So, okay. It's nice talking later. to you. Thanks. Oh, bye. 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 Okay. Right. Wait. What do you say? I've got I got you the burgers try spam done burger here. First? Yeah, and then then we'll try another one. <laughs> Just throw the onions. <laughs> 